Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Monday, September 11th. I'm Christy Matino. As the United States marks 22 years since the 9-11 attacks, one nonprofit is helping first responders heal now, all these years later. I spoke with Nick Davis, co-founder of 22-0, to talk about how they have helped these heroes to be able to overcome their trauma. What made you want to help the people who were involved in 9-11, those first responders? We wanted to get the word out to the to the masses. And on the 20th anniversary, uh, we were like, you know what, let's, let's get a documentary made so that we can start raising awareness around this. And we were able to actually illustrate with five different um, first responders uh, that were there, that were responding to the Pentagon and uh, Ground Zero, how they were racked with trauma. And after we did our sessions with them, just a couple days later, we were at the memorial and they hadn't been back to the memorial in over 20 years. What do you want people to know about trauma or PTSD? PTSI, as we call it, because we don't believe it's a disorder, it's an injury. Imagine you go through a traumatic event, the, the moment happens, and then your brain takes the emotions of fear, terror, helplessness, and glues those emotions to the memory. What we do is a process that allows the brain to reprocess what happened without physically talking about it. There's no cost if you go to 220 and you're a veteran, first responder, or family member, and you can be healed. And California Governor Gavin Newsom took aim at Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on Sunday calling him functionally authoritarian, but saying he believes former President Donald Trump is a bigger threat to democracy. Uh, I've made the point about DeSantis that I think he's functionally authoritarian. Uh, I'm worried more in many respects about Trumpism, what transcends well beyond uh, his term and time and tenure. You I think Trump or DeSantis about, would be a greater threat? I think the vengeance in Donald Trump's heart right now is more of a threat. Newsom also went after DeSantis for refusing to work with the Biden administration during emergencies. But soon, Newsom will be able to air his grievances face to face with DeSantis after the Florida governor accepted an offer to debate Newsom on Sean Hannity's show back in August. You heard Gavin make the offer. Your answer is? Absolutely. I'm game. Let's get it done. Just tell me when and where. We'll do it. And Congresswoman Nancy Mace doesn't anticipate an impeachment of President Joe Biden will happen anytime soon. As Congress enters its second week back in session, several impeachment inquiries have begun against Biden. Mace says if the president is suspected of bribery, that is an impeachable offense. However, she shared her pessimism about an impeachment happening. We will never get 60 votes in a Democrat-controlled Senate, no matter how much evidence we prevent. And so, from my perspective, the House oversight, judiciary, ways and means need to continue our investigations. We need to show the American people all of the evidence that we uncover. Congress has already opened an investigation into the president's son, Hunter Biden, while also examining the president's involvement in Hunter's business. Another investigation will examine how the Department of of Justice's investigation into Hunter was conducted. And that's the news on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.